It's time for Adam Cole and Pat McAfee to go face to face. The Undisputed Era come out first and they call out their opposition. Let's go, punter! Roddy, Roderick Strong is calling. And then Pat McAfee and his crew come out. <laughs> Pat McAfee shows the entire performance center, the entire developmental program, the vast majority of the main roster. This is how you cut a promo in pro wrestling. Holy fuck, this guy. I don't know if you know this or not, Vinny, but on my Twitter, I virtually never swear. I don't know okay. why. I don't even. <laughs> fuck, do you... But anyway, I swore I was so impressed with Pat McAfee's <laughs> promo. It's the first time since probably Hell in a Cell. I probably wrote this is the dirt worst fucking shit I ever saw. What? But, I mean, it's been forever since I swore on Twitter. But my God, I saw this Pat McAfee promo. It was the greatest fucking promo. I, I couldn't even believe... I mean, I guess I should believe my ears. But, God damn, he was great. He was so awesome. I expected him to be colorful and entertaining and and have great delivery and be fun. I was not expecting him to pick a fight like this. Well, let's it's think just... about this, Vinny. Mm -hmm. Who is the last football star that we saw on these fucking shows? Star? I mean, Keith Lee was a football player. Gronk. Gronk was there. And he was not... This, is, this promo blew Gronk's out of the water. Oh, my God. The whole... The whole thing with Gronk is he's so charismatic and blah, 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 blah. He was nothing. No. Not, not a zilch. And they bring in Pat McAfee. And granted, he's got a podcast and he's clearly a fan. Mm -hmm. He fucking blew Gronk into the stratosphere. Yes. Like, I don't know what they paid Gronk, but I bet they paid Gronk. A shit ton more than they paid Pat McAfee. Mm -hmm. And if I'm Pat McAfee, I'm like, dude, I want my Gronk money, or I'm fucking no showing takeover. <laughs> That's what I say about right now. <laughs> Jesus. So he first thing he says is that you 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 never go anywhere without your three stooges. You can never handle a face to face with a human like moi all by yourself. So Cole has the undisputed era leave the ring, and McAfee has his boys back off as well. And then he just goes off. You probably don't remember the last time I was here. Shawn Michaels was checking your vitals over there next to stupid Tom Phillips. Which actually, by the way, I, I didn't think about this last night when I reviewed this, but Tom Phillips wasn't there last week. Remember? Well, it was two weeks ago. Was it two? I guess it was two weeks ago he punted. Yes. All right, yeah. I apologize. So last week, you whined about how you were being held back. You ranted I was nothing special. Hey, you wrestled in bingo halls and armories in front of five people at one point, he mentioned. Bingo halls, armories, Japan, all over the world. You're the biggest star in this brand. You went 400 and some days undefeated. But it took me just one minute, just one swing of this foot to knock your ass out. He claimed to have made a million dollars in seven different professions. I need five of them explained to me. <laughs> I, I know, two of them I know are very well, I think what he was saying was I made $125,000 in seven professions. That, makes, that comes out to a million. That's what I figure he meant. That makes more sense. I don't I, think that's what he meant, but that's what I, makes sense in my brain. One of them was a couple of million by itself. The other is okay. So tells everyone in the ring backstage on the commentary, you better hope I don't stick around. This would be number eight if I wanted to be. I He's only not had, wrong. <laughs> I mean, at this point, geez, at, this, at this point, he should be the star of the show and the lead instructor on promo class. You only gave me two weeks to train, but two weeks is all I need to beat you. I'm going to end you with one swing of this leg, booting your face to the moon. And the only sound these idiots will make is boom. So Cole says it's his turn to talk, but all the geeks hit the ring. I guess because he was advancing, but it was in fact his turn to talk. So I think it was just turn. security. I don't think it was. I don't think it was the football players. No, no, I, no. It was, it was geeks. Yes, it was. It was, if it was the football players. I would say football players. It was not the football players. It was geeks. Regardless, Adam Cole killed them all, and the football players and undisputed heiress had a face off, and Cole just walks up to Pat and just calmly explains on takeover, "I'm gonna make you my bitch," and he walked away. <laughs> This was great. Dude, this was the highlight. This was the best thing on NXT TV oh, in months. Fucking forever. Yes. It was so great. Now, granted, if McAfee gets called up to the main roster, they're gonna write a bunch of shit for him. It's probably gonna suck. But fuck was he unbelievably great here. He was he was the best promo in WWE at this moment. Yeah. In, in I mean, all he of twenty twenty. Yeah. 
Joe's a commentator now, so he's out. I mean, fucking sure as shit ain't Seth. Ray, maybe. Ray Mysterio, of all people. That should tell you something. Wow. It's 2020, and maybe the best talker in WWE right now is Ray Mysterio. That's strange. 